Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We're having a hard time keeping this thing charging. Uh, we're in the last final phases of war here, and we seem to be doing all right, like an outlaw do. Uh, Mac Marlow is going to be up after me with her war attack. She has got some tanks that are going to be coming up. I guess it's not really that close. Let's see what's going on. You're looking for some artillery. Do you know what number you're going on, Marla? 15. Okay. Everybody so, saved seven for you. Oh, did they really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of them. Let's go ahead and scout it and see if we can't do a little bit better on seven. I hope. I'm cleaning up after King Lorenzo. That's amazing. We're going to go out here. We'll do that one. We'll flip it over. All right. Let's see what we got going on here just quickly. Um, that's going to slow us down. That's a Brandenburg Gate. Uh, okay. We've got a little boy that's not sleeping yet again. I want that gone. That right there. Uh, this guy seems to be fairly stopped. I don't want to be in the line of fire, so we're going to pick a drop point right up here. Um, he is going to be spawning a lot of troops, I would forecast. Hmm. Typically, I like going attacking through, but that's just that's a lot of buildings over here to get through in order to get that quick victory. So we are going to have to run the risk by going over here. We're going to start with our artillery, or sorry, our shooters and then our artillery and then our heavies i am running one sabotage there we hope um actually you know what i'm probably going to do the brandenburg gate my blitzkrieg is going there let's delete that so drop points there blitzkrieg there probably a sabotage I am thinking probably, I'm still going to do a sabotage just because they overlap in order to get that. Um, and probably another one there. Save my third one there. And then we're going to work around this way. Yeah, I'm happy with that. My first rally point is going to be in this. Woo. <laughs> How was that? In that box right there as soon as that can of mortar is gone. Desmond, to bed, please, sir. It's like 10 minutes to 10, and our two-year-old is still fighting with us. Um, okay. What do we got left? Oh, we got to finish that off. That's fine. We've got an MK3 biplane. I did get my general, my... my uh, Fort is upgrading thanks to the event and thanks to a four month old that got me up at like four in the morning to uh, actually start that. So I've got my MK3 biplane, uh, four shock infantry, 28 riflemen, two heavy tanks, uh, three supply trucks, a wall sapper. Do we really need said wall sapper? Let's take a look here. I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do. To bed, please. Thank you. Hard, and I don't know what to do about that one. He's just so utterly defiant and hates sleep, despite reading, you know, 30 books and everybody reading him books, etc., etc., etc. Um... Hmm, what do we want to do here? Yeah, we're going to finish that. Okay, there we go. Plane shock infantry, 23 riflemen, two heavy tanks, three supply trucks, seven artillery, a heavy Gatlin gunner, uh, tactics, three sabotage, my Brandenburg Gate, my Blitzkrieg, 
uh, sabotage just in case something pops out and one protect alliance troops we've got uh, what are those righteous riflemen and a couple of tanks mercs I've got one flaming pants those are khakis make sure that we're on that one and we're off now please enjoy the top of my head while we focus and attack To bed, sir. Slap a protect on those boys. As soon as they get in there. Come on, you guys. That artillery might have just gotten the better of me. Maybe, maybe we're going to have to back out here. Come on, you guys. Oh, see, and I didn't even get that. Oh, I seriously thought I had that. Oh, I just got eaten. Congratulations. Marla, I just had probably one of the worst attacks I have ever had. Well, it probably doesn't help us this morning. No, it, it really has not. I'm going to take your blanket away if you don't stay in your bed. Okay. Those are... Yeah. Those howitzers are just way too overpowered, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, that was extremely distracting. Um, unfortunately. So the howitzers pop? Yeah, the howitzers pop. I only managed to actually um, get one of them. And of course, like they're so overpowered. The gains between industrial and global are just ridiculous. So as a result, I think I was probably done right on my first rally point. So, I mean, I, yeah. That was brutal. I guess you're not cleaning up anything. I'm not cleaning up squat. I really am not. Um, I thought I had that overlap, but of course, yeah. I don't like being distracted. I don't like blaming it. Yeah. It was well, a bad attack. It was a bad attack. It was a bad attack, and the howitzer popped out, and yeah, that was really it. Well, yeah, I said, you know, we were talking about this earlier. Um, I'm really frustrated with that because I know our normally solid attackers are becoming unreliable simply like basically in war the only focus is the town center now yeah that's all you're going for is the town center so yeah. and it's it's ridiculous because realistically this this is not a global well I mean this is an early industrial base so really for our guys not to be able to, including myself, to not be able to roll through this base just fine. He's at level 137. Yeah. Like, without those howitzers in the city center, I can roll over 165s. Yeah, yeah. Um, know. You know, it's got to be a pretty bad base design, but still it's a 165. Anyways, that happened. That <sighs> happened. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, that's I've got nothing to say about that. You really just don't want your blanket, do you? No, he doesn't. Come sit here for a minute. All right. I was going to go ahead and donate you some troops, but, you know, given that I have nothing left. Uh, that was, oh, I'm so upset by that. Okay. Well, I'm sure. I mean, that's been the whole story this war. Yeah, it has been. Um, it has been. Actually, I, I would like you to go back to bed, please, sir. I'll come with you. Let's go. No. Yes. 
Son, it's like 10 o'clock at night, man. We can't be playing these games. No, no we can't be. Oh, the two year old <clears throat> And I have no tactics, so if something does pop out on 15, I am in trouble. Um, I still have 4 minutes and 27 seconds. It's on my tanks. Let's go scout it. I'm going to come in from up here. Well, maybe I have no tactics. Yeah, I think that's still my... Are you going to clean up for me? <sighs> Everybody's saving stuff from before we need it. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm a little concerned, though, but... Uh, yeah, no, because even my best bet to get in and get that town quick town center is there. I should have more than enough troops to deal with the generals. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, and probably I'll rally there. I'm hoping to get rid of that, but I don't know if I will or not. Um. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Perfect. How many decks do you have? I think five. So how much over are you? Because you would be overstocked. Well, right? I still have to wait a minute thirty seven seconds. Four. Oh, oh, okay. To finish the upgrade. <laughs> A minute thirty seconds. Yeah. And so I have. Hundred and thirty-five. So you've got five, as I su had suggested. Yeah. And how many is five? That's thirty troop spaces. But in actuality, that's going to be fifty troop spaces. So you'll have a hundred and fifty-five out of a hundred and thirty-five. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Oh me oh my. Oh my. had a couple crashes this war um yeah 
All right, there we go. Finish for free. Yay, I have tanks. There we go. Yep, no tactics. Hopefully those tanks will take the heat. Yeah. And here comes the howitzer, and I have essentially no troops left. Yep, took my uh, tanks out, no problem. Oh, I think I have one left. Yep. And there's my failed attack, too. Oh, that is sad. I got 42%. Oh, you did better than me. Not 17%. So, ah, that's what that is. Um, no, my first rally point, though, was dumb. It wasn't well thought through. <laughs> it was, like, so dumb. I'll show you where I rallied, and you're going to be like, why would you ever rally there? Hmm. I rally right about there. Right there? Yep. There's probably spike traps and all sorts of fun stuff there, right? Well, no, it was just like everything was coming at you. Yeah. I think the fallacy is that if you don't, if you if you actually use a point rally that rather than a building rally. What happens is that all your troops get clumped together. Well, but see, I had troops wandering down this lane. Oh, no. And I'm like, and it was like I had two or three artillery going down that way. And I'm like, I have to rally. I have to get them back. Yeah. That's such a pain. So. But. I'm sorry to hear that. You did, did better than me, though, still. You're still ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's an all eight mage base, so. Well, with no tactics, though? Yeah, yeah, no. Um, no tactics and howitzers? Like. Well, I suppose. And that's the other reason that I want to get a minimum of two planes, right? No. Yeah. 
Two days. Two days, you'll be fine. I know, I might. No, I'm not going to sit out of war. You'll persevere. Well, no, maybe I should because I'm planning on doing my fort. Do your fort as well? Yeah. Okay. You know what? No, because it'll give some other people... Something to do. Yeah, the opportunity to attack up. There we go. Oh, I can handle losing every now and then, I guess. I can't. I'm going to go and cry in the corner. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe down below. Uh, keep your sticks on the ice. And be sure to have a good time.